Welcome, one and all, it's been forever since I've done this, but we're back, finally, we're back with some more Soul Silver. Uh, last time we completed a trial, and now we have the necessary items to get our final party member. Yes, our final party member, the Box Legendary. So... You're probably wondering, where the hell was I? Uh, well, I'm going to recap it, or summarize it like this. Um, I got hella demotivated. I, I didn't want to do anything related to this series. Or uh, anything, for that matter. So, I got hella demotivated. So, yeah, I got hella demotivated. I didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Thing, and then I ended up getting sick. Oh, hey. You're here. Alright. So, uh, what we need to do here is, if I remember correctly, we should have the tea. Yeah, here we are. We need to use Whirlpool here. Uh, we are going to teach it to Dradon here. Actually, wait, hold on, shit, I should probably get some max repels first. Uh... So yeah, um... You will probably have noticed that, uh... A few things are different. Not a lot, just a few things. Uh... For one thing, Dredon is... Of a higher level than when we initially caught him, I think. I don't even remember. No, Dredon's the same. It was Spiny that increased in levels. It was off I did some off-screen grinding, but um, I am going to say this, though. Uh, <clears throat> I'm probably going to end up raising Dredon um, off-screen into its evolved form, so that way I can... Actually, no, wait. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> After we get our final party member, I'm going to uh, virtually use that. I'm going to use that to try and get the uh, Firestone in this kit. God damn it. Whoops. My computer was acting dumb again. Wait, I felt that thing already? First, let's grab TM here. Make sure my computer ain't doing anything dumb. Because, yeah, um. I don't know how this is turning out for you, but, um. Okay. I'm trying to see which trainers I fought. I did not fight you! Well, I'll be damned. Uh, what do you have? Star you. Well, you're gator food now. So, let's see, shelter. Um, let's send Dredon out. Let's see what he can do. Boom. Yeah. Uh, let's see, you know Thunder Wave, you know Twister, you know... Dragon Rage. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, if you can guess, I tried a level grinding, hence the little experience bar being blue. Uh, Dredon, uh, long story short, wasn't happening. Alright, let's see. It's been a while since I've played Soul Silver, so let's see if I can remember correctly how to do this. Uh, 
Um, let's see if I remember how. By the way, for those wondering why I'm likely going to evolve my Eevee into a Flareon, because I mentioned the Firestone, because A, I didn't want to evolve it into a crap. <sighs> and the Pokemon that knows Flash is in the PC. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to wing it, so. Uh, Han. I should be able to recognize. Oh, wait. There's an item here. I should be able to recognize. Whoops. This place well enough to where I don't need it. On the plus side, you're going to probably see me fumble about a bit. Hmm. There's light down here! Into items. Max Elixir. And a full restore. Alright. Yeah, the Pokemon that I have that knows Flash is not not from Adobe, because fuck Adobe. Uh uh, let's see if I I should be able to do this without flash. Restore. Four restores are probably the best healing item in the game. I'll just say that right now because they both heal status ailments. Hmm. Both heal status ailments and and here's the best part. They also fully heal your little monster. So. God damn it! I'm so used to Pokemon Black too, where you can just boom use a repel instantly, just boom. Like as soon as your repel runs out, boom, just use another one. Uh, so yeah, I guess while I am fumbling, fumbling in the dark, uh, here. Wait, did I? Did I? Did I fuck up? Oh, that's sick. My computer's acting dumb again. God damn it. Whatever, we're doing this. For fuck's sake. Whoops. Yeah, it is a lot easier if you have a, uh, Either a map or. Whoops. Yeah, either a map or. A. Why is my frog data shiny? Why are you shiny? Well, I know exactly what to do. Yeah, sec. Do I want to? Yeah, I do. And then we, if I can, oop, reset. I was wondering why I don't edit this out. Uh, to show you why you should always play on a physical copy. Luckily, I have two. <laughs> I have two physical copies. There we go. Much better. I fixed it. Boom. Like, it's annoying, and it's part of the reason why I've considered scrapping the Pokemon White playthrough, because I don't want to have to deal with this shit. Although, I don't think... I think Pokemon White and... I think the Unova games are, like, better in this regard when it comes to emulation. I don't know what it is with, like... Soul Silver of like Soul Silver and like pre Unova like games. 
Uh, I have not tried this with Pokemon Diamond because I don't want to go through the fucking Elite Four again. Wait, I think I found an item. That's going to be helpful. Uh, wait, strength. Give me strength. Oh, God damn it. I fucked up. Alright, so... Wait, is that the reason why they gave you the escape rope? Actually, no way, shit, there's this other path here. Wait, on the ladder. How the hell did I end up here? Well, we can always try that again. Uh, because this part's gonna probably be a, a long one. Probably to make up for the long absence. Uh, this one's probably gonna be in like the 40s mark in terms of minutes and. Because I'm just gonna say fuck it all. I tried being like cool and shit. But fuck it, let's get. Uh, what's its name? You. Come here. Yeah, I complete... Because like I said, I don't play Pokemon games often. I, I don't. No, like, if I'm going to play an RPG of some sort, it's likely either the Cyber Sleuth games or some other RPG. It's definitely not Pokemon. I'll tell you that. As such, I tend to forget shit. Actually, wait, is... Yeah, damn it. Wants to learn slam. <laughs> nah. Give up on slam. You're probably wondering why I'm not ditching Thunder Wave here. That's because Thunder Wave is going to be of mighty help. Later on. Alright. Pip, do your thing. Much better. Alright, so now that we can actually see what's going God damn it. I have to instinctively grab any item that I must. Give me the loot. None. Alrighty. Alright, so...
Here's an Ultra Ball, we're probably going to need that. God fucking damn it. Yeah, you're gonna probably see me fumble here, because, again, I don't remember how the hell you're supposed to do this. Because, and this is a brutal fact that Pokemon fans don't want you to know. Uh, once you've beaten the game, there's virtually no reason to, like, play the games ever again. Like I said, the biggest problem with Pokemon is that it suffers from the Attack of the Clones mindset, basically. In that, if you've played one, you've basically played them all. There's... God damn it. In that there's virtually not a whole lot of reasons to go back to the series at all once you beat one of the games. Alright, let's... I'm running low on repels here, so let's... Head back over here. Uh, you. Bye! You will give me repels. But yeah, like, like I said, I... That'll never not be funny to me. <laughs> Also, because I am playing Soul Silver, I am aware of the inevitable question. <clears throat> uh, it's that, um, that, uh, There you go. <laughs> this will never not be funny to me. This will never not be funny to me. just speed up the battles it's like <sighs> sometimes I forget that I can do that it's like my guy you're playing this on an emulator just speed up the encounters just just speed up the battles yeah it's like Dropping them sick beats. No, don't do that. There we go. Do this. And here we are. We're here. Nuggets. Um, I don't remember where the hell I'm supposed to go.
This again. This is why emulation is not the best way. Yeah, this is part of the reason why I've part of me deciding to like why part of me is deciding to just scrap the uh, Pokemon White playthrough and just jump straight to Black 2 because I really don't want to have to deal with this shit on a regular basis. Yeah, the glitches from the emulator version of Soul Silver is turning me off from the idea of doing like Pokemon playthroughs entirely. How the hell do I get there? Which just my fucking luck. Hang on. I can't do control R because that stops recording. Gotta be another whirling whirlpool area. Like the funky beats. And I know that the unfortunate part is that the only way people are going to probably play uh, Soul Silver or Heart Gold is through emulation. And considering emulators for these games aren't the best, in that glitches like what you just saw earlier tend to happen. It's definitely going to leave a sour impression. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on a fucking second. I have an idea, hold on. I might have an idea. Yeah, at this point, I just said, fuck it, and just, I'm like, like, my guy, you're playing this on emulator, just speed this shit up, and get a move on. Hey, hey, hey. I probably am going to have to whip out a map at some point, just so I know where the hell I'm going. Problem is, is that my phone is like, like nowhere near me. Yeah. 
You're getting the full fucking treatment here. Yeah, these glitches, like, you know, I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but for those wondering why I won't do any more Pokemon playthroughs after this, shit like this is why. I swear, if this is the fucking one. Matthew. He only has a crab. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, I'm just telling myself, my guy, you're playing this on emulator. Just speed this shit up. Alright, don't go down that way. Ha! Ah, I am so stupid. Hi yay yay. And this is why I don't play Pokemon games. This is why. You see, if I wasn't doing a playthrough, I probably would have whipped out a map at this point and just said, fuck it. I'm not gonna waste the space. Max Revive, those will also become useful. Let's talk to this guy. Finally, we're making fucking progress! There's Feather, or Silver Wing. He's an extra little area. He's a rare candy. Yeah, these glitches here are what ultimately turned me off like like i said once the uh the black 2 playthrough is done that's it no more pokemon it's a one and none or at this point two and done playthrough all right finally Uh oh. <laughs> we finally met him. Behold. It's a dragon. It's a sea dragon. And to make sure no funny business happens. Because at this point I'm going to upload this part as is. I might as well. Alright. Team check. Okay. Item check. This should be enough. Let's do this. Oh. 
Behold, Lugia. It's a big sea dragon. Alright, I don't want to do anything stupid here. So I'm just going to play it safe here. Now, despite the fact that I referred to Lugia as a sea dragon, uh, Lugia here is actually a psychic flying type for some reason. Alright. Lugia might actually be helping me out here because Waterfall actually does bonus damage. But I'm not going to risk it. Not going to take any chances. Oh, shit! Also, Lugia has pressure, which causes moves to be consumed uh, twice. So, if you use a move once, instead of it consuming one PP, it's only two. It's a double that. Yeah, it knows Aeroblast, it knows Rain Dance, and he knows Extra Sensory, I believe, if I remember correctly. Come on. I don't want to use the Master Ball on it right away like I've done before. Because every time I replay this game, I always use the Master Ball on Lugia. I am scared. Do I wanna... Thing is though is that... I was right! Extra sensory. So yeah, Lugia knows Rain Dance, Extra Sensory, Hurry, Area, area Blast, and... Yeah, Area Blast, Extra Sense, sorry, and one other move that I'm forgetting at the moment. Alright. Count them. One. Alrighty then. This is going to take forever. Come on, Lugia. I guess while I'm yeeting balls at him, uh, I might as well give some fun little trivia about uh, Lugia here. Hydro pumps the other move. I ain't gonna do much. So yeah, Lugia knows Hydro Pump, um, Extra Sensory, re Rain Day, Pants, Pants, and Area Blast. Oh, that's gonna sting. That's gonna sting real bad. Uh, Rex, I need you to tank a lot of these hits. If I inflict a paralysis on it, Ned, which Frogger cannot learn, by the way. I probably would have had an easier time. Fuck. Oh, that's gonna sting. I don't want to default to just using the Master Ball like I've usually done. Nope.
Okay, luckily Hydro Pump doesn't have the greatest of accuracy. Fuck it, for the walls. Damn. <laughs> I knew that wasn't gonna happen. <sighs> Aerial blast hurts. It hurts real bad. I am in quite the predicament here. Okay then, out of hyper potions. Come on, come on. Fuck. God, fuck it, damn it. By the way, Lugia gets the uh, same type attack bonus for both Extrasensory and Area Blast. So, yeah, they do double damage. More damage than usual, so... Oof. Ay, ay, ay. Probably I'm gonna have to use the Master Ball. I mean, I don't mind using the Master Ball on, like, mascot legendaries like Lugia for example but super potion it up all right ultra ball not ultra man Uh, if this keeps up, we're just going to go back and forth with each other. If I don't use the Master Ball now, I'm probably never going to be able to use it. Get in there. <sighs> you see, I was trying to avoid using the Master Ball this time around, but... I... I didn't take into account that I would run out of healing. Give a nickname to Lugia? No, because I don't nickname legendaries. And that's Lugia, our final party member. You've done a great job. Say hello to Professor Elm. I'll try. Hey, Lugia appeared, but you also cut it. 
By the way, if I was in charge of a Pokemon game, I probably would make uh, legendaries like summons. Like, I would make them uncatchable. But instead make it to where you can summon them in battle like the summons from Final Fantasy. <sighs> Fuck me. That... Uh, that was... Uh, that was... That was tense. I'll say that right now. Let's use our super potions because we don't need them anymore. And let's... Let's... Where are the escape ropes? Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Brent, what do you want? How are you? Bill's father is supposed to be a great punk maniac. Whatever. Let's just go to Blackthorn, heal up, resupply, and then oof, spray and pray. And with that, we have our final party member. Move Pokemon about. And there we go. We no longer need Pip anymore. Better if you couldn't guess, I probably I did some off screen catching. Same because I was bored. And now that we have uh, Lugia. We have the means necessary. We have our team. Uh, our team isn't 100% finished. Since we need to evolve some of them. Duh. But. Let's not dawn on that. Let's just take solace in the fact that we actually caught the fucker. The power wore off. For those wondering if I'll be catching Entei and Raikou... <laughs> no. Hmm. Max Potion. Yeah, I don't know what to say. We just caught Lugia. I honestly never thought we'd actually get this far.
So yeah, that's Lydia. Let's go talk to Professor Elm, shall we? First XP. Capricorn tree. Now that we got that out of the way. Back in New Bark Town. Let's go talk to Elm. Yeah, you appear to be a rare. How rare are we talking? Scrambled or sunny side? Alright, so now that we have all the gem badges and we caught Lugia, we can now actually go to the Indigo Plateau. First, let's check up on uh, Miadier. Draw, deposit. What's over here? Hmm? Hey! You know what we just did? He's taking your first steps into Kanto! Yep, if we look at the Poke Gear. Whoops. We are officially in Kanto. Huzzah! But that's gonna be for another time. Glad to be back with Soul Silver after God knows how long. If you enjoyed this part, feel free to like and subscribe if you see fit. And also while you're at it, feel free to check out my non-gaming related stuff down in the description below. Until then, see you all another time. Bye.